So after that last video, I decided just to go ahead and make a full review of Lead Sniper. So I used two methods to find email addresses. So the first one's clay.com, but you know it's, it's very comprehensive, but it's just very expensive. And then Lead Sniper. So the only downside to Lead Sniper is that it doesn't pull the first name of the person. So it's gonna pull the email address, telephone number, I mean address, um, all that stuff. Um, it can even pull like LinkedIn business profiles. It, it pulls in a bunch of stuff, but it just doesn't pull in the, the, the person's first name. So whenever you're sending out emails, you just have to adjust that a little bit so that whenever you're doing your smart tags, you're just saying company name as opposed to you know first name. So to use it, um, you just go to the install instructions on their website to install it as an extension in Chrome. And then you just put in a keyword. I'm just gonna start with this one right here, Mortgage Brokers Lease Summit. And what it's gonna do is just go down this list and it's using your web browser to do that. It's gonna go down the list and it's going to scrape Google business listings for all the contact details. So this is gonna take a little bit. So um, what I'm gonna do is pause the video right here. And once it's done, I'll show you how to clean the list so that you know for sure that all you're getting are clean email addresses. I'll be right back. And so this is still going. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is show you what to do once this is finished. So um, right before I started this video, I put in insurance agencies lease summit and ran that scan. And I then uploaded the CSV to millionverifier.com. And so I think there was like almost 200 like you know email addresses in that one, but 131 of them are, are good. So I'm only downloading the good ones. So the reason why I download only the good ones is because if you send to these risky or bad, odds are you're gonna get a lot of bounce backs or you're gonna get just like, you know, your message isn't gonna arrive and Google and Microsoft are gonna pick up on that. Like for instance, if half the emails that you sent out got a bounce back, that's probably spam. So you only want these good ones. So now that I have that downloaded, I'm just gonna go into uh, my CRM and as you can see here, these ones that have like just the, the email address and then like the website and then the company name, these are the ones that I've gotten out of Lead Sniper. So what I'm gonna do is choose the option to upload. And so this process actually gets rid of even more bad stuff. So this is the last one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just upload it. And then this will pop up. And then I'm just gonna um, correct some of these fields here. So for the name, it's actually the company name. And so there might be something else already using that. I'll, I'll look as like I go down here. So city, some of the stuff you don't need, it's like not even an option for you to select. So phone number, um, I like to choose this phone number instead. I just, it's got a better format. And then this right here, we're gonna say no, because what I'm gonna do is come down and select it here. Oops. And because I had the ability to select a phone number earlier, let me just make sure that I'm paying attention here. All right, so that looks correct. So the only thing really left to do is to come down here and scrape their LinkedIn company. And that's it right there. Now let me scroll back up here and just double check. I always double check, I check it twice. So this should be company name. All right, perfect, there we go. All right, so that looks good. I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna select the correct list, which is this one right here. And then um, what I'm gonna do is just select this option right here to up update the prospect if it already exists. So I'm just gonna choose import and it looks like it added 110 people. So 21 it had already found, so no big deal. All right, perfect, so growing the list. So going to, I'm gonna check back on this one here and so it looks like it's still running so far about 80 i'm just going to stop it and then i'm just going to export what we have already so new file right there so same thing always bring it in here so i'm just going to upload that it's the last file here this one so of this looks like it found 20 and so it's going to go through the process to try to find that so that shouldn't take too long so same thing with instantly it is the same thing with the mini reach with the crm you just upload these contacts and you just have to adjust your message as you're sending it out so um 
and I know that I always like to see what other people are sending out. So let me see if I can go to my campaign. It's just I'm going to show you um, what it's going to look like when I do. So as you're probably seeing out here with email marketing, you know, if you ask a question, people are kind of like, you know, we're wired to answer that question. And so just asking them a question. Um, I saw this thing on, on CNBC. It was, uh, I think it was Kevin O'Leary. And he said that when he receives like, you know, email marketing, one paragraph, if it's more than one paragraph, you won't even read it. So I'm just trying to stay, you know, within that. So um, let's go back here, see if it's done. So it's not done yet. So I'm gonna pause the video, come right back. Okay, so this one's done and looks like it found 12. And we stopped it early, so no big deal. Kind of expected that. So I'm just gonna come in here and go to upload and just upload this new file that we have here. And same thing as before. So company name, city, state, phone. I'm gonna switch this. I like this phone format better. That's not correct. Email, most important part. It's awesome, it grabs it. So this can be dub dub dub. And then last one is the LinkedIn. And so they some of these do have like company LinkedIn, so might as well snag that too. And then um, I'm gonna choose that list and then just import. And so it looks like it brought in 12. So it's gonna refresh this list here. And that's how you build your list. That's it. So clay.com, really expensive, or you can sign up for this. It's like 150 bucks. So lead sniper, you can just use it over and over and over and over again. So I say it's a buy. I say definitely pick it up. No affiliate link. Don't care if you buy it or not. Don't care. I say don't buy it so I can do all this and I can send out the emails and you can be poor and broke anyways. So, uh, so I say buy it. Let me see pricing. Uh, there it is right there, the, the Google Map Scraper. So let me scroll down here to show you the prices. All right, so this is the one I have, 150. So just, um, you know, there was one complaint. So whenever you download their software, you have to place it somewhere on your computer because I had placed this on my desktop and then installed it and activated it. And then as soon as I deleted that, those install files from the desktop, it removed it out of here. And when I tried to re-enable it, it told me my license key was invalid. And as you can see, you can only use this for one installation. So I got pissed because I knew it was gonna take 24 hours to get a response, but they actually responded last night. So sent me a fresh key, so I'm back up and working. So. So I'd say if you're you're in the market to scrape email addresses right out of Google for your local area for whatever business you're trying to get into, Lee Sniper is like I say get it. So that's it for me. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the video, all that stuff. If you have any questions about it, just hit me up in the comments. Peace.